Ever wondered what thread count actually means or how to plant succulents so they don't wilt? Maybe you're looking to maximise the storage capacity in your fridge freezer or perhaps you'd just like to win a cleaning machine bundle from Vax worth over £1,000. Welcome to Roost, sponsored by Samsung, the show that's full of ideas to help you make the most of your home and garden. First up this week, kitchen buying expert Lindsay Davis shares her tips for maximising the storage in your fridge freezer. We've all been there. You get back from the shops, perhaps enticed by too many special offers, or ahead of the festive season, and what looked like a lot in the back of your car certainly looks like far too much when you try to get it in the fridge freezer. Sound familiar? Well, from choosing the right appliance in the first place to getting savvy with your storage, there are plenty of ways to make this a thing of the past. It all starts with a fridge freezer that offers the ultimate in space-saving design. Not everyone has room for a giant American or French style fridge with multiple doors, so look for something that makes the most of your available space. Samsung fridges with SpaceMax technology have thinner walls and this means more internal space without huge external dimensions, and there is no compromise on performance either. Next, think about the integrated storage features that can make a fridge freezer much easier to keep well stocked, yet tidy movable door bins, slide-in or foldable shelves that can be moved to add headroom and, of course, a handy wine shelf, make putting shopping and leftovers away much easier. Generous vegetable crisper drawers keep produce neat and tidy while ensuring they keep food fresh with humidity control, which is great when you buy too much. Keep an eye out for added temperature control too, like Samsung's Optimal Fresh Plus technology, which lets you alter the temperature of the specific compartment within the fridge. You can make it cooler for meat and fish without chilling vegetables beyond their preferred temperature, which can impair flavour. Another function that helps you store your food at its best is choosing a fridge freezer that can rapidly cool or freeze produce when you return from the shops. Samsung offers power cool and power freeze technology that quickly brings food back down to a temperature, a must if you spent a bit too long sorting your groceries. We also recommend choosing a frost-free option as unwanted ice takes valuable inches from your fridge freezer space, as well as being a pain to maintain. Finally, think about investing in additional storage that can help keep food not just fresh but tidy in your fridge too. We recommend making the most of door racks where they are available for jars and cartons, but when needs must, up your fridge storage game with clear bins to hold condiments or dairy products. This makes it easy to find what you need and remove contents to clean your fridge. A Lazy Susan style turntable is another brilliant buy. No more underused items lurking at the back of the fridge here. There are also some great food containers that can go from oven to table to freezer, both being used to cook and store your food. These are well suited to batch cooking and leftovers, and they limit the number of different items of ovenware you need, meaning tidier cupboards too. Also, neat airtight tubs will protect food in your fridge from taking on smells of anything pungent, though Samsung Twin Cooling Plus technology is also designed to prevent odour mixing in your fridge freezer, making this less of a problem. So look for similar technology when you buy. So, there you have it. Just a few ways you can cut food waste while maximising storage space for a fridge freezer that the home edit would be proud of. If you want more ideas for fridge freezers, check out the Samsung bespoke range. Now, if you want to ensure your bed is as comfy as it can be, I'm going to run you through my tips on choosing the best bed sheets. So you've got a good pillow, a supportive mattress, or at least a mattress topper. But if your bed sheets are scratchy, it's time to invest in some comfy sheets. We spend about a third of our lives in bed. And if you're struggling to get those much needed days right now, it's worth splashing the cash on some good quality bed linen. The most common fabrics for bed sheets are usually cotton, silk and linen. And luckily, all of them are natural fibres which are breathable and help to regulate temperature. But they all have their unique characteristics and vary quite a bit in price. A classic affordable bed sheet material is pure cotton. 
Egyptian cotton is one of the most luxurious types with a smooth, crisp feel and a price tag to match. Egyptian cotton is longer lasting, finer and smoother than regular cotton, thanks to the extra long fibres the plants produce, which makes it a real worthwhile investment. Be prepared to pay a little extra for linen and silk too. Linen gets softer over time, regulates temperature and doesn't retain moisture, so you'll be cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Just like linen, silk is temperature regulating too and also naturally hypoallergenic perfect to help retain moisture in your skin and hair. You'll also find cotton polyester blends, which cost a lot less, are more durable and wrinkle resistant, but they may not feel just as natural or comfy. Your last choice is regenerated cellulose, also known as viscose or lyocell. These bed sheets are made using plants like bamboo and eucalyptus and are super soft, sometimes even softer than cotton and often sustainably made. This one is linen. It feels sturdy, soft and crisp, while this silk sheet is much smoother, cool to the touch and has a subtle sheen. The way cotton sheets are woven has a big impact on how they feel. Your primary cotton go-tos are percal or sateen. Percal is a basic grid-like weave and feels smooth and crisp and barely requires ironing, whereas sateen has a satin weave and is silky smooth and has a rather lovely, subtle sheen. Jersey is a stretchy material which is less durable than cotton sateen or percal. There's also microfiber, usually made from polyester or nylon, which is soft and fairly affordable, and flannel, brushed bed sheets, often made from cotton or polyester, that feel warm and cosy in the winter. Referring to the total number of threads in one square inch of fabric, a high thread count is associated with a good quality cotton because it's known to make the sheet soft and more durable. A sweet spot of about 200 to 500 thread count sheet is all you'll need for a smooth, silky feeling. Fibres like linen or silk don't have thread counts comparable to cotton as linen is so thick the thread count is low while silk is so thin that it's typically measured by weight so you won't need to worry about the thread count of these options. Whatever bed sheet type you go for, it's always worth shopping around for the best price. And if you can, head to a homeware store to have a feel of the sheets for yourself. For more information and ideas for bed linen and textiles, head to realhomes.com. And now you know your sateen from your percal. Next up, gardening expert Teresa Conway shows us how to arrange a winning succulent scheme, guaranteed to keep them alive and kicking. It's no wonder that succulents have taken the plant world by storm in recent years. Aside from their beautiful structures and vast array of shades, they're surprisingly easy to grow. Some varieties will need to be brought inside during cold periods, but given that they make great houseplants, that's hardly a problem. Their popularity means that succulents are widely available, and you can really enjoy selecting your own combinations when planting up a container. They're so characterful and quirky that it really comes down to personal taste. Perhaps the most important thing to remember about succulents is that they require excellent drainage. So drainage holes are an absolute must in whatever pot you're planting in. It is possible to buy potting compost, which is specially formulated for cacti and succulents. If you're using a standard potting mix, add fine gravel or horticultural sand to really enhance its drainage properties. Here's how you can plant up a beautiful succulent container. We've chosen a shallow vessel with plenty of surface area to really show off the succulents in their full glory. As mentioned, your container needs to have good drainage, so we're adding some drainage holes to our copper planter. We've chosen a low, wide bowl for our succulents, but it's an aesthetic choice and other types of well-draining pots would work just as well. To start with, we're arranging our chosen succulents in the bowl to check they fit and look how we want them to look. Once you're happy, empty out the planter and add a good layer of gravel to the bottom to aid drainage. Succulents don't like waterlogged soil, so drainage is key. 
Now we're going to fill the pot about two thirds full with soil. The soil mix needed for succulents needs to be pre-prepared to ensure it has adequate drainage. We've done our own mix, which is 50% topsoil, 40% compost and 10% gravel. Or you can buy a ready-made mix from your garden center, which is specially formulated for succulents. Once the container is full of soil, you can start planting your succulents. We thought that the larger, single supervivum was ideally suited to sitting in the middle of our pot, with the rest positioned around the central plant, but the choice is yours. Scoop holes in the soil slightly wider than the root ball of your plant and about the same depth, and gently drop the plants into place, firming the soil around them once they're in. Once your plants are in, you can add a little more soil to level off the top of the earth and ensure that the plants are completely surrounded with soil. To top off the succulent planter, you'll need to cover the topsoil with horticultural gravel, which stops the foliage touching the soil and rotting over time. It also gives a lovely overall look to the finished container. Ensure all of the soil is covered, including right up to the neck of the plants under the leaves. Finally, gently brush off any soil or dirt that's found its way onto the plants. Then, finish by giving the plants a light water and position it in a partially sunny spot in your garden. Once you've finished your container, make sure you position it in a partly sunny spot. When it comes to watering, it's as easy to overwater as it is to underwater. And if the leaves come into contact with wet compost, they will rot, which is why we've recommended a layer of fine gravel on top of soil. Allow your container to dry out completely between waterings. Check the soil regularly as the period between watering will be shorter during hot weather. If the leaves are looking shriveled, then they aren't getting enough water, whereas translucent leaves indicate overwatering. Remove dead foliage as it drops, and if you're using tender varieties, bring your containers inside when the temperature goes below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. For more advice on succulents and other great gardening information, head to gardeningetc.com. This week on Roost, sponsored by Samsung, we've teamed up with cleaning brand Vax to offer one lucky winner a total cleaning system for carpets, hard floors, and upholstery. Whether your home has more carpets or hard floors, Vax has you covered with this total cleaning system, which includes Vax One Power Glide, Vax One Power Blade 4 Pet Dual Battery, and Vax One Power Spotless Go all from the cordless Vax One Power family with shareable battery technology, plus revitalize your upholstery and carpets with Vax Platinum Smart Wash. The UK's first carpet cleaner to use motion sense technology to wash your carpets, leaving them dry in as little as an hour. To be in with a chance of winning, simply head to one of the websites listed on your screen and fill in an entry form. Entries close at midnight on the 1st of September, so good luck. That's it for this week, but please join us next time for more inspiring ways to make the most of your home and garden. Thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe to the Future Homes Network YouTube channel for more great ideas for your home and garden.